Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today I'm between two separate moods. Uh, I don't know if I'm mad or if I'm happy and I will tell you why. I've been having my repeater, the R1X, for uh, about a year and a half, almost two years. I, actually I got it in fall 2014 and you know that my repeater is part of a project for the Fusion Quebec group that we have here and as well as the FCS003 which is the server we have as also and I'm hosting the room and this repeater was more it's not a wide coverage I cover maybe 10 or 15 kilometers around for mobile maybe a little bit more for a base station but it's not a wide coverage repeater but it is uh, the, my lab repeater for the group you know for for hosting everything and I've been using a FTM 400 on a dummy load so I can do the link with WireX and have all the benefit of the digital uh, mode. And this uh, was working very well, but I had like a radio on a dummy load, okay? So I wanted to plug it in directly into the DR1X. And the DR1X, those old repeater that were before December 2015, have uh, a, an older version and were not able to be upgraded to firmware one dot. 10D, which will make it compatible with the HRI 200. So I was on the edge of sending back my repeater to California from Canada, uh, and this cost me like $120 uh, to have it modified so I can, you know, use my FTM 400 instead of having it on a dummy load. So I was about to send it out. I went in the shed and got out my uh, uh, my box and uh, tried to, uh, to to pack it up. And what happened is that I wasn't sure if I was just going to keep a radio in the lab instead of a repeater. So I was on the edge of selling maybe that repeater. And uh, the word had spread out. Someone called me and asked me if it was for sale. And he asked me, he told me that he had upgraded to 1.10J with an older uh, version of the DR1X, the same as mine. And it worked. So, okay, so I decided to try it. You know, I, I went to Dayton uh, in May and I asked the user guys if I can do it myself. And I, I, I was, you know, I was willing to take the risk and, you know, and if I break the device, it's my fault and that's it. But there was no way to have any information about it. But uh, I should have go with my instinct like we did the, 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 the past few years and try it anyway. But uh, I didn't. But this guy did it. So... As soon as I hang up the phone, it was on Saturday, that's yesterday, uh, I pull out, uh, uh, I did pull out the, uh, the R1X from the rack mount and, you know, updated it to 1.10J. But, you know, it worked and it worked perfectly. I did all the tests. I've been testing it for 24 hours with uh, ADIC V2 MEL. It worked. I'm able to transmit in all modes, everything. It's flawless. So that's make me wonder why did I add to send it back to California why I, I don't have any answer for that but I believe that people that put it in AMS um, probably the the repeater gets stuck you know in transmission and there's bug with that but that's not my case it's digital only maybe that's why I don't have any problem and I'm not telling you guys to go and upgrade your D1 DR1X like I did because maybe I was lucky Maybe there's a bug, maybe if you do that, you'll break your device. That's something, it's a chance you have to take. Uh, and uh, I will not take responsibility for that. But I'm just going to show you that mine worked. I didn't have to send it back and I'm very happy. Uh, I removed my FTM 400 uh, that was on a dummy load. And, you know, everything is fine. So I, I wanted to share that with you guys. I would have loved to have from Yezu the information that you can do it but it's on your own risk and you know I have a little bit more information what could happen if I try to do it and uh, we are arms and arms are technical and you know we we want to try stuff and some of us are ready to take the risk so I would have preferred to have a transparency uh, on that they say on that firmware information on the PDF they say that you cannot upgrade if you do not have already 1.10D but I did upgrade mine from 1.00M, like Mike. I did upgrade it to 1.10J, which is available on the website. So once again, if 
you do that, do it on your own risk. But this absolutely working for me. So I will show you the demonstration. So I hope you have a nice day. And uh, tomorrow I will receive, by the way, my open spot uh, from Shark RF. Uh, they have sent me a, a demo and I'm supposed to receive it tomorrow. So thanks to Norbert uh, to send me this device. I can't wait to have it and do some tests uh, with that. So a few videos will come on uh, next week uh, about the unboxing and you know all the, uh, the testing on that device as well. So we live in an interesting time for AM radio and the digital passionate like us. So on behalf of our team, I would like to wish you 73 and look at my DR1X now working with my HRI 200, 73.